Oh, the excitement is building for the 13th annual Muskegon Bike Time and 5th annual, annual rather, Rebel Road. Both events are expected to be a big boost to the region's economy. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills tells us about the new businesses that will also be benefiting from the events. There are just a couple of motorcycles here on Western Avenue right now, but between now and Sunday afternoon, around 40,000 others are expected to rumble into town. The rush is on because motorcycles and the men and women who ride them are arriving. Deborah Sargent is preparing to sell her stainless steel jewelry. It's a cross with a motorcycle in the middle with a big skull head. Sargent is a returning Rebel Road vendor. I love this event. Everybody was awesome last year. I'm really excited to see what it's all about. Dana Precious and her staff are rushing too. She's heard about the big motorcycle gathering. I cannot wait to be a part of it. And so she moved up the opening of her downtown Boomtown Market. Let's be a part of what makes Muskegon special and rocking this summer. Down the road, this new restaurant is preparing to serve big crowds. I'm trying to figure out how much meat we need to smoke. Dr. Rolf's barbecue will sell hog wings from a booth outside the restaurant. Events like this definitely help us out. Well, at the same time, provide air conditioned indoor sit down dining too. It's going to be, I mean, fun and exciting. I think that we'll definitely kind of feed off the energy and try and provide the best service that we can. Bike Time was created 13 years ago to bring people to town. And Bike Time has done that. Bikers from all around the country visit Muskegon this week. 150 motorcycles and their riders will get to town using the Lake Express. Bike Time starts Thursday and new this year. You can reserve a campsite here right at Hot Rod Harley's property. Rebel Road has officially started. Wednesday evening is family night with free activities. Pony rides, bounce houses, petting zoo. Together Rebel Road and Bike Time will attract more than 100,000 people to town, resulting in a big summertime boost for local businesses. We know that a dollar will turn over seven times, and so we estimate that it has a $30 million impact on the Muskegon, West Michigan area. And in Rebel Road's case, the event also raises money for the Child Abuse Council of Muskegon County. So in the first four years, this event has netted our agency over $100,000. That is huge. I mean, we serve over 21,000 kids a year. Our services are free and they're desperately needed and that helps us a lot. Both Rebel Road and Bike Time finish Sunday afternoon. In Muskegon, John Mills, 39 Your Side.